Haley is definitely about to crawl. She's growing up so fast. Do you ever wonder what she'll be? Maybe a musician like her dad. I didn't know you were a musician, Mr. Mack. Neither did I. Well, it's not my way to brag, but in high school, I played a pretty mean electric guitar. <laughs> well, what's so funny? I'm just picturing you with an electric guitar trying to be cool. Hey, when I used to play the first 10 seconds of Stairway to Heaven, people thought the radio was on. <laughs> sorry. Lizzie, why the hell aren't you outside? I'm sorry. I forgot. No, my car idles too long, it burns oil. That's why you wait outside. Always outside. Uh, busy? Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Mack, this is my boyfriend, Ray. Hello. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, the baby people. Listen, you paid busy yet? I'm hungry. They paid me, Ray. Go wait in the car while I get my stuff. Hey, don't tell. Suggest. So, <laughs> what do you think? Don't you find him a little hostile? Oh, Ray just seems that way because he's constantly angry. But I know I can change him. He's hurting inside, and that's why he really needs me. See? Rodney, you get out of there right now! In a minute! Hey, Zoe, I'm gonna flush myself down the toilet! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rodney, you've had your fun. Now open this door. I want to have a baby. Oh, she's fine as long as Rodney's around. What is taking so long? Hey, can I play with Zoe? Okay, be careful. <laughs> Rodney, I've got to go to the bathroom. It's actually busy I'm worried about. Mm -hmm. She's got another lousy boyfriend. Ugh. I really feel like I should do something. That's it. I'm getting the crowbar. Well, every girl meets her prince sooner or later. I'll never forget the night I met mine. I was out on a date with a nice boy named Perry Herman. Wow, how did anyone ever get the idea to combine roller skating and disco dancing? All I know is it's here to stay. Hey, what's that? At first, I didn't trust my eyes. Nobody could look that good. Plus, Perry and I have been doing whippets in his van. But he was real, all right. A living angel in white polyester. He started mixing in kung fu moves, piercing my soul with every chop and kick. He didn't give a girl a chance. He could have had any role of chick there, but he chose me. As my fingers let go of the railing, I knew I would never go back. Ever since that day, we'd been together. King Carl with his queen by his side. And if it's all been a dream, I hope I never wake up. Just once, Busy would find a nice boyfriend. She has a thing for these guys who treat her badly. We should do something. Mm. If only Busy could see how much she has to offer. Maybe she feels like she doesn't deserve better, you know? Mm. I bet it's because her parents split up. And if that's true, it's a shame, because not all relationships have to be that way. We should do something. Yeah. Blah, 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 Busy. Blah, 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 boyfriend. Blah, 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 do something. Uh, whoop, Kenny's giving me a signal. Something big's going down. I'll talk to you later. Oh. My wife is obsessed with our babysitter's love life. Obsessed enough to take pictures? I say if women insist on dating arrogant punks and they get what they deserve. Uh-huh. Now we're getting to the Chili Center. What do you mean? There's a little personal history here, isn't there? No. You can tell Kenny. In high school, I really liked this girl named Becky Quillen. Gee, Daryl, you really play the first 10 seconds of Stairway to Heaven great. Thanks, Becky. Yeah, Zep's okay. Though lately I've been concentrating more on my own music. You write songs? Sure. Someday I might even write a rock opera. Wow. I bet anything your group wins the Battle of the Bands this Friday. Are you going to be there? Wouldn't miss. Great. You know, I got an idea for a rock opera about a guy who's lost his sense of smell, and it's only through the power of the music that his nose comes alive. <laughs> Ah, uh, Becky. 
Hi, Flack. Well, that's rude. Huh? Would it kill him to say hello? Is he a scuzzball or what? Oh, no. Dear old Flack's a really good person. He just hides it because he's hurting inside. He needs someone who can reach him. Someone like you? Exactly. Oh, Dio, you understand me so well. Talking to you is just like talking to another girl. I'm lucky to be friends with such a nice boy. Nice boy. Nice boy. Nice boy. Yeah, if I learned one thing in high school, it was that good-looking SOBs always get the girls. Been there, Captain. Yeah, it sucked, didn't it? Huh? Oh, no. I was a good-looking SOB. <laughs> we tortured your kind for sport. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Zoe, it's time for our date. Let me get ready. <sighs> yeah. Wait a minute. This is an aftershave. It's battery acid. Where are you going? <gasps> Wanted to look. <gasps> Zoe's crawling! <laughs> oh, my. Hi, Mr. McPherson. Hi, Rodney. Where's Shelby? Probably making out with your daughter. Huh? Mr. McPherson, what do women want? I can't figure them out. Ah, uh, Rodney, Rodney, Rodney. Wrestling with that question is the great burden of we who carry the Y chromosome. I was making Zoe laugh. Women are supposed to like that. Sense of humor is number one on every Cosmo quiz. <laughs> yeah, and sensitivity is number two. What's that tell you? Oh, so what's the answer? Very simple, little man. No matter what kind of guy women say they want, what they really go for is a good-looking bad boy. Like that Ray guy Busy's dating. And the sad part is that Busy thinks she can change him, but he's gonna go right on treating her badly. Were you that kind of guy, Mr. McPherson? Me? Nah. I had this crazy idea that if you liked a girl, you should respect her. Listen to her. Let her know how special she is. Wake up every morning and ask yourself, how can I make her happy? Boy, was I a sap. If I could do it all over again, I'd dumpster that nice guy crap and be an arrogant jerk. Because when the final buzzer sounds, it's the jerks who always win. Virgin through high school. And then some. Well, I guess first love is always sweet, even with a four-year-old sociopath. Speaking of sociopaths, Busy, Ray's here. Busy. I know you don't got too many brain cells, but outside's the part under the sun. Now ditch the baby and let's roll. I'm not going with you, Ray. Huh? We're done. Huh? I'm breaking up with you. Mr. Mack made me realize I deserve more. Huh? Daryl? He taught me that a woman should be treated with respect. That guy? Yeah, this guy. Take a good look, Ray. This is the kind of guy I want. Someone who wakes up every morning and says, how can I make the woman I love happy? Never mind how he looks. This is a man. Now, kindly direct yourself to the nearest future without me. you convince Busy to dump him? Did you talk to her? I might have said a few things. I had no idea you were going to get involved. Well, you know me, Wanda. I'm not so much a human being as a human doing. You make me ashamed. All I did was yap about it. No, no, it's important to care. I mean, not quite as important as taking action, but important nonetheless. Zoe's lucky to have such a strong father. Ah, there's lots of guys like me. Batman, Zorro. They're not real. Oh, that's right. Well, better hit the hay. Want to be alert for my morning question about making you happy and so forth? Good night. Hey, neighbor. Rodney, top of the morning to you. Thanks for the advice yesterday. Well, little man, I believe in something our Eastern friends call karma. When you do something for somebody else, it always comes back to you.
Hello. Daryl, you know Clayton, that nice boy who works at the pharmacy? I just fixed him up with Busy. I decided to follow your example and get involved. Always happy to inspire, honey. Uh-huh. See you tonight. You know, Charles Barkley had it backwards. Being a role model isn't a burden, it's a privilege. But you didn't do anything. I'm sure I would have eventually. You see, Kenny, I've always been a natural leader of men. I thought we were gonna play Hungry Like the Wolf. What's the name of this band, Jeremy? Daryl and the Chaos. Thank you. Now, I've written a new song for us to play at the Battle of the Bands. What's this tunage called? Read My Heart, Becky. I'm gonna show Becky Quillen how I really feel. So it's a love ballad? Fred, not. It's total nuclear war. A take-no-prisoner's howl of pure rock and roll fury. I wrote the lyrics on my hall monitor sash. Follow me! I'm an open book. Becky, won't you read my heart? Take a look. Becky, won't you read my heart? Okay, get ready. There's an eight-minute bass solo coming up. Hey, Captain. Huh? Name a color. Yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W. Name a number. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, another number. Three. Aw, oh, say two. It's a really funny insult. No, I think I'll stick with three. <sighs> Today is your lucky day. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Water. Uh, over there. Becky, won't you read my heart, please? Excuse me, is there a problem? Yeah, baby guy, there's a problem. Ray? I got no busy anymore because of you, baby guy. My name's Daryl. Though... Saying it out loud, I'm realizing it's not half as intimidating as Baby Guy, which is probably the reason you selected that particular nickname. Shut up, bitch. That's even better. Look, I never said anything to Busy. She just overheard me. I was talking about how girls always fall for jerks, no offense, and how they'd be better off without them. Again, no offense. And I was just telling my friend Kenny that... Let's say we use our inside voice from now on, Baby Guy. Inside voice? Now... Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna go home and tell Busy to meet me at the school tonight, ready to party. I can't do that. Oh, I think you can. Because if you don't change Busy's mind, I'm gonna change your mind. And by change, I'm assuming you mean? Injure. Right. Hey! Rodney, can I bake you some cookies? Do what you want, I don't care. I'll go make them right now. Whatever. Rodney's so tortured. He's really hurting inside, like when my kitty had worms. Rodney, what are you doing? What you said. This guy in pain things got him jumping through hoops like a pack of circus dogs. Listen, Rodney, what I said was wrong. There are already too many guys like that in the world. You gotta stop this right now. Um, Rodney, is there a video game I could shoplift for you? Oh, yeah. I'll be stopping real soon. Wanda, I need to talk to you. Shh. You know, whenever someone at the pharmacy asks why it takes so long to count pills, I say it's not the counting that takes time, it's the recounting. Oh, mm, yeah. It is so wonderful to see Busy with a nice boy. Yes, and you know what's even more wonderful? When a young boy shakes off the stigma of a rough-and-tumble childhood to become a dynamic and accomplished adult. Babe Ruth, Thomas Edison, Charles Dutton of TV's Rock, what are you getting at? I just think we may have been too hasty about Ray. Ray? I see real promise in the lad. And as Father Flanagan said, there's no such thing as a bad boy. Oh, Daryl, it's just like you to see the best in someone. But I'm sure Busy's better off with Clayton. Truth be told, my real passion is pharmacokinetics. That's the study of how drugs metabolize once ingested. Speaking of which, shall we continue this very interesting discussion over dinner? Yeah, sure. Fun ahoy. Where would you like to eat? Someplace close. Hi, Carl. I'm here to pick up Zoe. Yeah, she's on the beanbag with Shelby. Um. You know, Daryl, I'm not telling you how to parent. The kids mimic what they see. Maybe you and the wife could keep your love making behind closed doors, huh? Yeah. Uh, could I talk to you, Carl? So this Ray guy said if Busy doesn't show up at the high school tonight, he's gonna come after me. Wow. Well, you know what you gotta do. Get a facelift and move to Canada? No. 
Go down to that high school and confront them. You don't talk to trash, Daryl. You take it out. You know, Carl, you're right. What am I even worried about? I'm a grown man, and he's a high school kid. One fierce flash of my eyes, and he'll be crying for his mama. You want me to come along? Would you? I've been wanting to try out this new taser. Megan, what's the combination for my gun cabinet? Three, seven, four, nine. Right, right. Your dad, it sounds like this might turn into a major bloodbath. Can I come along? No, Rodney. You need to stay home. Dad, I'm coming. All right, son. Well, I guess we got to do this thing. You were in a cup, right? Oh, great, Rodney. Destroy the man's confidence, why don't you? You know this guy's gonna have steel-toed boots. Look, Mr. McPherson is already scared enough. He doesn't need to be reminded how badly he might be hurt before I step in and save him. Okay, we're next. Hands in. Eye of the tiger. We're the champions. The lunatic is on the grass. Eleventh commandment, thou shalt rock. rock. Yes! Oh. I've been silent too long, Becky. Time to let my axe do the talking. Okay, uh, that was Steve in the Apocalypse. Uh, before we bring on Daryl in the Chaos, I've just been informed we got a late addition to the roster, so uh, get your lighters ready. <laughs> just kidding, Principal Rossiter. <laughs> For Flack and the Calamity. <laughs> what a loser name. Oh, no. I'm hurting inside. <laughs> Let's move out. Hold it, Carl. I'm going in alone. You sure? I've got Wanda thinking I'm a hero. Well, maybe I should start acting like one. It's time for Daryl McPherson to take center stage. Wanna get a Slurpee? Okay. Hello? Hello? Looks like you're busy less, baby guy. That's not good. Busy's not coming, Ray. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. She's with someone nice now, and I'm gonna make sure it stays that way. What are you, her daddy? No, but I care about her. And that means if you ever go near her again, you answer to me. Gee, I guess nobody loves Raymond. You're making some bad choices here, baby guy. Why? Because someone like me isn't supposed to stand up to someone like you? Well, let me tell you something, baby guy. I'm on to your act. You're not hurting inside. It's guys like me who are hurting inside because we have to stand by and watch girls fall for scum like you. Whew. Does it ever feel good to get that off my chest? I don't know what I was so afraid of. Oh, yeah. You okay, buddy? I think so. Looks like you lost a fight. Yeah, but I guess it's a small price to pay for helping a young girl change her life. Ray! Biz? I miss you so much. Thanks for the ride, Clayton. You're welcome. Oh, you poor thing. Your knuckles are bruised. No big. I'm so sorry I broke up with you. I'll pierce anything to make it up. Whatever. Good Slurpee. So, how'd it go? I guess I was a fool to fight the natural order. You can't change the world. The jerks always win. That's what you taught me, and I'll never forget it. Well, I gotta get back to work. Hey, you're... Look, I'd love to gab with you, but I gotta go change the urinal cakes. This is the greatest night of my life. Huh? Uh, that's the head trauma talking, son. No, it isn't. I see it all now. I was wrong, Rodney. Guys like me do win in the end. It's just a matter of waiting out a dozen or so incredibly frustrating, desperately lonely years. I won! Woohoo! I got Wanda, and Flax a janitor! Dad, does this mean I should model myself after Mr. McPherson? What's your gut tell you? Be a jerk. Trust it. 